It's 7 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day. All right, on the money watch this morning, forget cash, forget credit cards. How about buying things digitally? Have you got into this yet? The no. whole Bitcoin? No, I yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's a digital currency. A lot of the techies really into this right now, and it's becoming more and more popular. As a matter of fact, more than a billion U.S. dollars have been transferred using Bitcoin so far. And just recently, the price of Bitcoin vaulted to a record high price. Joining me this morning is tech expert Tom Jelnick, the president and CEO of On Target Web Solutions. Okay, let's talk about this first. I know we've done this segment before, but people like me still don't get Bitcoin. What exactly is this? Well, John, if you remember uh, back in the day, we were trying to get some type of worldwide currency, right? So this is kind of the digital world's answer to a worldwide currency. But let me get this right. Okay, Bitcoin, it's a digital currency. So if I want to buy something online, I use my Bitcoin. But there's nobody backing this. It's just kind of arbitrarily up and down, right? That's absolutely correct. And this is what really freaks me out about it. There's really nobody kind of in charge or nobody overseeing what's happening with this particular currency. So if nobody's in charge, who is regulating this? Well, that's the problem, John. So I don't, I don't see anybody regulating it. And um, we've seen the stock prices on this thing or the value of it go you know, all the way from $42 to recently $445. So really it's volatile. Is this like one guy, one group that's actually set this thing up? Because I can see that happening. Some smart tech guy says, I've got a worldwide currency. Here it is. It's called Bitcoin. Well, they haven't been able to trace this back to actually who is running it or who created it. And, and once again... That whole uh, you know chain of who created this thing is 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 ambiguous. So if they don't even know who created it, people are investing in this. This guy could be manipulating the price, checking out, taking millions of dollars, and people who bought this stuff could be left. Well, certainly, John, that, that could be happening. And you know, with again the volatility of this of this value, um, it, it kind of I'm I'm a bit suspect. Okay, you, you deal a lot in online commerce. Are a lot of retailers online embracing this or no? You know, some of them are. It's becoming increasingly more and more popular. Uh, but, but again, you know, this actually solved, the Bitcoin actually does solve a problem. It's cheaper to use than debit or Visa card for retailers. And we've heard a lot of uh, very wealthy tech gurus have gotten in on this. Uh, okay, maybe they're going to make some money. If they lose $6 million, that's like a, a, a dollar to us too, right? Well, sure. It's a cup of coffee at Starbucks for us. So, you know, my, my biggest concern, again, is just the uh, who's paying attention to this, who's watching this, and who's keeping people safe. And who set this up? That's like a yeah. great mystery. I'm going to find them. Uh, yeah, you should. That's my tell, mission. Tell them to get your money back. All right, Tom Jelly, good to see you, man. Always see appreciate you your expertise on that. Thank you. Interesting, guys. So you're not behind the curve. No, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I would hold off. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. I still to come.